Huh? You did out loud as well. <gasps> um, it's true, though. It's true. Susan, oh, thank you, Kevin. I feel the same true. way about you. Hello, I everybody. Love reading, love reading with you. Um, yeah, the energy is always fantastic. And coming together as two psychics and mediums and um, presenting in a way that feels so smooth and, and yummy. Um, you're my favorite. That's just it. You're my, there. I've said it. You're my favorite to read with uh, the mediumship. It's it's yeah, it's amazing. And so welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Um, it's wonderful to see you all. I know there's lots of other people on right now, which um, which is great. So um, for those of you that are here popping in, popping out, um, we appreciate it. Um, Susan Lynn and I have read together many times. And so in that, if you're new here, we do um, psychic questions, so if you could be specific, um, it really helps us to expedite the connection and get through as many as we can. Um, and in the mediumship, if you could put the name and relationship is just really helpful, so it just takes us to that connection a lot quicker. Um, and then in that, um, if you could put it all in caps in your questioning, we've been already starting some. We just go where spirit takes us. That's the honest truth in it. We don't go in a particular order. We will ask if you are asking a question, please stay. We're here. We're committed. Um, so if you're asking a question, um, it kind of breaks the flow if we have to question if you're here or not. So we're just going to go that you are here. If you have to leave, if you could let us know, um, hopefully we'll catch it, but hopefully you will stay here. Um, and in that, um, if you haven't um, had a reading from us before, um, feel free to put your question in. And for those that have um, had us um, in recent uh, a reading from us, just ask that you would allow other people to, to have a chance at having a reading with us would be wonderful. And Susan Lynn, if you wanna add anything to what I just rambled there, I can feel the energy already. <laughs> Building. It's building, right? The energy is like totally. building. I, I just want to say thank you for inviting me on your, on your channel. Aww. I enjoy it. I love it. Yeah. I look forward to it. Same. Same Z. Yeah. We do this thing actually every few weeks. Um, we alternate channels, which is really wonderful. Um, I'm always honored to be on your channel. It's wonderful Aww. and busy and um, I appreciate you. So here we go. I'm starring some. I think Susan Lynn yeah, is starring some. some. It's, it's kind really of hard wonderful. to uh, follow up. Kevin had Linda G and Mel on his channel last night. So I, I kind of so feel good. like the pressure is high for me. Like the bar is uh, it's kind of high. <sighs> it's funny there. I called them my two, two of my favorite aunties. Cause somebody. I heard I you. <laughs> I watched Wait. it. Totally. You're, you're my sister. So I there was you like, go. Oh, okay, I'll take that. Because I'm pretty sure I'm quite a bit older than you. I don't know if I'm anti older than you. No, we're but. not actually that much. We're only about like a few years apart. All right. I Especially just act with my hair color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? Speaking of your hair color, not to get sidetracked, but I liked it when it was the white. Oh, for real? So good. Oh, no. Yeah. I, it was, I like it how you change it, though. And that's the that's the good thing where you can change that. It. It's like, like it's clothes. just hair folks. It's just yeah. hair it grows back. It changes color, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it sure does. I love short hair. All right. We're looking like we've got lots of questions coming in. So Susan Lynn and I are primed and ready to go. So we're going to jump into it. And Susan Lynn, if you want to, you can choose the first one. The honor, the honor. Okay, so hmm. I'm going to go with the first question from the first person who was here, uh, which is Butterfly Kisses Healing. And I know you, dear, and hello. Um, she would like to have a message from her dad, Robert, who passed away in January of 2018. Um, and so I'm just going to tune in for a moment here to your dad, Robert. Immediately, your grandfather's coming in for some reason. I think that you might have had a relationship with him or, or he has a relationship with you. You know, when we're young, uh, mm -hmm. these adults feel some kind of way. They, they love you. And you, as a small child, you might not have felt, you know, known them that well, but your dad, Robert, um, there's, I don't know where this is coming from. I also want to say you guys right now, there's 250 people in chat. Kevin mm -hmm. and I are 
reading uh, the energy. We're reading the spirits, your relatives. And there's 250 at least people right there. <laughs> so um, if I get it wrong, it could be for mm. someone else. And take it if you hear it and you think this is for me, it's for you. Spirits piggyback on each other to give a message to more than one person. So um, butterfly kisses healing. I'm getting horses. When you were a younger person, something about a pony, a pony. Maybe there was um, your grandfather had a pony or maybe there was something about maybe you liked horses or like ponies. Um, your dad is, is telling you he loves you. He's telling me that you were silly as a child. Mm. He loved that about you. Um, and I and I get a sense that maybe you and your dad had disagreements on occasion. Of mm. course, a lot of us do have disagreements with our parents. Uh, but he wants you to understand that for for him at least, and he hopes for you as well that 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 you guys healed those. That that mm. that wasn't a disagreement that carried over. That that he feels that that was healed. That I'm getting chills with that. Um, and, uh, but, but when he, he's talking about ice cream or candy or a sweet tooth. So I'll let Kevin take it mm. over and give you guys the real deal. Watch this. Watch this y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're like, well, I mean, we're, I'm hearing what I'm, I'm feeling and hearing, and I was writing it down what you were actually saying, Susan, and in it, I heard the word failure, but it's not like to the extreme. So it's like those little fractures in the relationship. And this is coming from his perspective where it's like his wrongdoings or where he didn't feel like he was, um, the best version of himself. He loves it that you've both been able to work past that. And it's like, I wrote, I wrote it down. It was the failure. And then underneath it is the heart. And so in that it's like the repair. And so how the relationship has grown, um, that's the focus. He's like, Robert is not, um, he said it's my name, but it's not my name. So I don't feel like people actually called him that. And he also made um, a highlight around the month of May being sick significant for you and then the k female name i don't know who he's talking about but k female um in connection to that um and was there one other thing you were talking about um oh courage he was talking about the courage so you being in this demonstration of courage um the choices that you're making um he is so proud of that it's like it just oh it fills his heart so much that you are um courageous is what he's saying so um that's the message for you so and much you don't love think for you're you you're being courageous i know you yeah. don't think you're being courageous but but he he thinks that you are okay. So butterfly kisses healing says she doesn't recall any disagreements, but his father abused me when I was young. It was awful. My dad was great. So oh, it could be that he feels sorry for that, that he feels, I think he feels, I mean, did you use the word failure? Did you use the word failure? Cause I feel I, like that he feels like he really let you down that he didn't do his job as a father. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think he really knew, but he says it was my job to know. It doesn't matter if I knew or not. I should have known a dad should know what's happening with their kid. He's pretty, you know, so he's hoping. And, and I think you do forgive him. Um, but I think that's what Kevin and I are picking up. on. Yeah. I feel like it is layered. And I think you actually started to connect with the grandfather first. So there's in that just the repair and moving through it, um, how the relationship has the ability to heal um, even in the spirit world. So in that, um, yeah, it feels. I it am feels so clear. sorry. She mm -hmm. said her parents yeah. did not protect her. I am oh, so boy. sorry. I, and I'm telling yeah. you, your dad has this sense of anger of like, if I would have caught yeah. him doing that, I would have kicked his butt. Now maybe that's yeah. false bravado. I don't know, but that's the sense I'm getting from him. But he, but he, he loves you. He, mm. he really loved you. I mean, he thought you were the apple of his eye. Um, I'm so sorry. That's terrible. Yeah. Uh, thank you for your question. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to um, everybody first of all. <laughs> um, and Janet, thank you so much for your um, donation. That's so kind of you. Um, and you guys, you don't have to pay to have a question. I didn't realize that there was a question there. Um, but I mean, thank you for your, your 
um, donation that's very kind. So why don't we do this one next? Does sure. my dad have a message from me from the other side? And it's interesting that it's the dad, you know what I mean? And so in that yeah. repetition, yeah. Um, it's- I don't it's know why always... I see a lot of dads. There, I feel like a yeah. lot of dad energy uh, today. Oh, dad's right. name was Mike. Mike. Um, I feel like somebody was creative, Janet. I don't know if it was your dad. I feel like your dad, maybe when he was younger, he was creative. Um, creative could be any kind of creativity, but I'm getting this sense of creativity. Um, his message is, besides the fact that he loves you, um, mm. He's telling me something about you being smart, almost smarter than that. Like you're too smart to have fallen or there may be a situation in your life that you're doubting your own idea. You're doubting your own conception of that situation. And he's saying, don't doubt it. You, you're smart. You know what's right. You know what's wrong. You know what you think. Uh, go with it. You can trust your gut. You can trust your intuition or your brain. Hmm. Um, I feel like, I feel like I'm still with the other dad. I don't know why I don't, I, there's some parallel that's in, in that. So I don't know if there was understanding, um, from the previous, the message part, um, but there's some overlay that they're making me aware of because the other, um, Robert, yeah, is still here. So I'm just going to move into, um, Mike, he's making me aware of music. I started to hear the music. And when Susan was saying about the creativity, there's something about the music that's raising things for me. Um, a highlight of the month of August and then a highlight about the 28th. The 28th, I keep seeing the number 28 in front of me. Um, and again, it's interesting because we talked about the courage. Oh, that's where it is. So it's the choices. So in that, the part of the message about courage is is simply sometimes not so simple standing in the energy of making choice so dad comes in to support you around the choices that you're making in this moment and there's support for that it's like you know sometimes we just have to take the leap of faith and jump in both feet you know putting our toe in or one foot in sometimes it's like okay we do that for a while there's this energy to be in the movement um because you're in your grounding he's saying you've done the work you're you're in your grounding and so now it's time to move into the choices is what the message is coming through so yeah okay that feels good thanks dads thank you janet <laughs> and thank you cheryl sibson uh for your donation uh, appreciate it very much cheryl thank you cheryl so kind of you susan where would you like to go next i don't know i don't know where i was <laughs> bermuda okay. okay um okay sorry about that i will i'm gonna unstar that since we answered it um okay i don't know this uh it caught my attention all the emojis were like ah okay Sandy Middlestead says, um, should I change realtors since my house is not sold in five oh. months? Hmm. There's lots of dads here. You said that already, but it's like, I said I'm that already. It again. A it's like dads. I don't know there what is. it's not Father's Day. I don't know what, yeah. it, what is going on, but they're all here in mass. Um, yes. this is a complicated answer, Sandy, because I don't, it's not a, I'm not sure if it's a slam dunk. Yes. I think you could change realtors, but I think it's more complicated than that. I think this is a shared responsibility. The guides are saying, so perhaps you need to do a little more to the house. Um, you know, I don't know, stage it differently or mm. you know, address something the realtor has asked you to address. Um, and then change it, it, you can change realtors, but you there's two different things that need to happen at the same time. It's not a simple yes mm. for me. Hopefully, Kevin can get you something. I more. it's actually it, it's nothing really profound. It's that I see energy changing in three months. Right. So either that's the house is selling or you're doing something different or you've made your decision. They're not telling me a yes or the no. The pendulum was like. Yeah, it was like just it was a it was a, a in limbo. Um, I pulled the listening card. 
And so you just really tuning into um, the listening is your um, ability to um, know. They're saying that you know. And so in that, I feel like outcome, the house is going to sell. They're just not showing me when. So um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Perfect. Good luck, Sandy. We wish you all the best. Uh, and thank you, Cynthia. So kind of you. Thank you for your donation. All righty. Where are we going here? Where are we going here? Um, I just want to, this one's just, um, for this, stories by numbers. Um, okay, I'm hesitating. I'm just checking in. Yeah, she'll be okay either way is the, is the comfort around it. And so in that, um, we're just all praying and we're just sending lots of healing to your mom and to you and everybody who's um, in, invested and involved in this. Um, yeah, prayers to you. Uh, look at that unicorn. I feel like that's your mom's energy. She's a unicorn. I mean, that's how you see her. Um, and in it, it's beautiful. Um, she's magical in that way. So um, lots of healing for her. All right, Deb at the beach, thank you so much for your donation. That's kind of you. All righty. And that's interesting. Yeah, Lorraine's saying, I feel my dad here too. And that's just it. And, and we've said that before where people, um, if we open up and we feel into that, we get messages from other people's messages because that's how brilliant that spirit is, is they want us all to be in that feeling of um, being seen, making that connection. They don't exclude any of us in that. So I'm glad that you're um, feeling your dad. He is here. So absolutely. Right. And oh my gosh, and look at the next one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that's Sandra okay. Lee, wow. That's I mean, hey, it's dad night. Sometimes it's, it's so mom dad night. night. Sometimes it's, it's so you know. true. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Stories by numbers. Yes, she is so magical. I can feel it. I can feel it. Um, lots of, yeah. All right. Sandra Lee asks, a message from my dad, Charlie. Dad, Charlie. Oh, yeah. I wonder if he's been gone for a while. Um, mm. Okay. So um, just because the energy feels different when somebody has been gone for just a few years versus 10 years or 20 years. Um, go ahead, Kevin. Are you got, do you got a good beat on him? Um, I got a little bit lightheaded. I took a full breath and I had a full exhale. So in that, I feel like he's in his full breath. So I don't know if there was challenges in breathing specifically um, around dad. Um, I wrote down 17. And so I don't know if 17 is significant or if that's the um, January, kind of beginning of January um, being highlighted. Um, and it's beautiful because this is often how I see um, not how I see how they show me the connection with um, female, but there's butterflies. And so dad's actually, and I shouldn't gender butterflies, but in that he's showing you um, through the butterflies as one of the signs um, that he wants to connect with you. He's also saying one of three. So someone is the one of three and highlighting those other people is important to him. So it's like you be the messenger um, to, to share with other people of this connection. And so in that also November, November is also a, sub, a, a important month that he's um, highlighting. Um, hmm. And I feel like, I think your mom, if your mom isn't passed over, I feel like he has a heart connection to her. And it, it regardless of whether they were together or not together, he feels there's a heart connection to your mom. Uh, these things can be complicated, even though maybe they, you, you wouldn't think that as a child, but, but it's there. He mm -hmm. died in November. Okay. Um, this oh, okay. last November. So he hasn't been gone long. Wow. Um, and, and his message to you is that you're different, that you march to the beat of a different drummer and that's okay. 
It's okay to continue to be you. I feel like there must be some forces in your life that are, which in all of our lives that are kind of making us kind of fit in some box. Maybe it's society's box, a work box, a family box, doesn't matter. Mm. But he's like, you know, don't worry about making yourself fit other people's preconceived conceptions. He says he loves you for you and, and do your thing, you know, be mm. you and um, seek happiness and um, everything is going to be okay. That that's pretty much his message that mm. I'm doing. Hey, Debbie Freebird spirit is here. Hey girl. Hi uh, Debbie. Spirit Intuitive Tarot is here and I saw Kevin and I, I don't know who else I've seen here. Oh my I'm, gosh, they're all here. I saw Lisa Freebird Spirit. Everyone's here. I love Bobby. you all. It's all my family. Yeah, Lisa's <laughs> here. Debbie's here. Kevin is so here. So good. Aww. Thank and you, Sandy. And everybody's Freer. dad is here. And everyone's dad. Yeah. And everybody's dad. Yeah. It's so good. Um, wonderful. Thank you, Sandy. So kind. All right. Did I choose that one? No, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, go, go ahead, go ahead and choose the next one. The, I'm a little weird. Like the energy is like really high. It really is. I mean, I love it. And because you know, what's interesting, you know, how we'll like do that where I'll, I'll do, um, I'll tune in beforehand while I was in a, in a conversation beforehand. So I didn't actually tune in beforehand. So it's interesting how they're demonstrating what, um, how the, the piggybacks, that's so important. It's so important. And I love how they just bring through um, to reach so many people. Oh, let's go. Let's shift it. Let's shift it into even more love here. Hello, I think, Sherry, you're from Canada um, or that you know I am. But either way, um, oh, Canada, um, will I find love this year? Let's see. Will I find love this year? I think yes. I, yeah. Yes. I think yes. <laughs> and and romantic love. You know what I mean? Like the yeah. chocolates and the roses and the the whole thing. The whole kitten caboodle. Romantic enchilada. <laughs> the entire romantic enchilada. Um yeah, I got the I got the timeline because timeline can be a little bit hard, but um spirit saying within six months, and it's so interesting that I pulled the knot for you. Um, and in that, oh, and that's interesting. There's a six on it. So that's just reconfirming the six month part what? of it. Great. You're in a place where it's like you're and standing in the, in the power of like, that's not the right one for you, or that one's not the right one for you is really good. And you being a little more selective in it, um, actually feels good. They're acknowledging that for you. Um, so in that energy, yeah, it's, it's coming. Yeah, it is yeah. this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you've kissed a lot of frogs. So you're <laughs> kind of done. You're kind of done with the whole thing to a degree. Like, you know what I mean? Like you're not really trying so much. You're, yeah. you're like, you know, okay. All righty. Nana G, I love your name. My nickname is Nana. Um, love you both. Well, we love you too. Yes. Thank you all for being here. All righty. Go ahead if you want to choose the next Ooh, one. Okay. Sorry, I'm slow on the uptake here. No okay. worries. We're going to go with uh, Mama Bear. Mm -hmm. Her friend died in 2006. Her name is Autumn. Awesome. Um, so this is, a why, this is a long time ago, 2006, right? So why didn't she tell me she was sick last time you uh. saw her was 2002? Um, I, I will say that your friend is coming in very quickly, which is unusual considering a, she's not a family member. She's a friend and B that she's been gone a long time, but mm. I feel like she had, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like she had a kind of a friendly personality. I'll say a friendly uh, personality to her. And, and, and sometimes she could be a lot of fun. Um, mm. So the reason she didn't tell you she was sick was because People that have that kind of persona, sometimes that's their public persona and they're actually really private. Mm -hmm. They're actually really very different. They hold a lot of themselves back. That's very private. She didn't like to be vulnerable. She didn't like to be insecure. She didn't want to be vulnerable. And this was a very vulnerable thing 
Number one, number two, she thought she was going to beat it. She never really thought she was going to succumb to it. And then when when she was going to succumb to it, she was like, what am I supposed to do? Call people up and go, I'm dying. Um, that's not her. That's She's for a good time. She's great. But when it comes to like sharing deep stuff, not so good. Yeah. Nailed it. I'm going to, I'm going to echo that in the cards. I got the grief card. Um, and then I got the communication card. And so just in that energy, it was what Susan was, um, sharing and in it, it's like, I feel like she was impacted in her own grief and that the communication just shut down. But what she's bringing through is such a beautiful, um, it's like, I'm going to show you, no, I'm not just kidding, um, is the peace. So the energy of the peace that she is at, and she wants you to feel the same. So she actually is, is saying this really directly with you because um, you can handle it. She's saying she wants you to let it go. She doesn't want you to be in any of the questioning around it. She actually wants you to release that. She was um, making the connection with the number threes for her. So the number threes, the repetitive, um, is her way of just um, being in that identification of it special from her. Also, the month of September, she told me, is significant. But in that, the message comes through um, to let go of it. And it's not to say that you're, you know, harboring um, around it, but just the the little part, um, you don't need to be in the questioning. She wants you to release that and feel the same peace. So, yeah. And I think she'd rather you guys, you remember all the fun. I, yeah. I don't know why, but she she's saying you guys had a lot of fun together. So uh, you were really close. Yeah, I know it's hard. I, and I know you want it to make sense and it just doesn't make sense, right? But But what Kevin is saying, and then add to that, she wants you to think about the good times and try not to miss her or think about like, I think from your angle, it's betrayal. You know what I mean? Mm. Like from your angle, it's like, wow, we were really close and she should have shared this with me, but I, you just never know what people are comfortable sharing, even though you know them really well. So thank you for your question. So good. This is so interesting, Debbie. I was aware of Ben today, and I don't know if you've ever asked this question. That's so interesting. Um, Debbie's with her daughter, and she would like a message from her brother, Ben, who passed when he was 18. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. Ben. First of all, I'm so sorry for your loss, Debbie. Yeah. That um, should not even be allowed on this planet. Um Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like I feel like Ben could be a, a tease, like he could have fun with her, like he could sort of pick on her, but in a really fun, not in a irritating way, but in a funny way. And I feel like they were very close. I get this sense that they were really close, uh, considering that I think there was an age difference and then the male-female difference. I feel like they gave each other some grief, but they were really much closer than other people mm -hmm. even knew they were. Um, and, and he's still, I know, you know, this, and I, I hope I'm sure your daughter knows this too, but he's very much involved in your life. He's talking about a pet, a dog, perhaps. I don't know if you've gotten a new dog or if there's a dog in spirit, I can't stay with him long enough to figure that out. Um, but there's, mm -hmm. but he definitely is talking about a dog and he, and he's talking about, um, They were so close that they could look at each other and communicate without speaking. And mm -hmm. it was one of those relationships where they could give each other grief, but nobody else could give each other grief. Like, you know, no other, nobody else could say something about her. Nobody else could say something about him, but to each other, they could like, you know, have fun dogs in spirit. Okay. So he has the dog. I feel like he's holding the dog regardless mm -hmm. of how big it is. I, I mean, he's holding the dog. Um, of course, he's sorry he had to go. Um, mm -hmm. Is he there with grandma? I feel like grandma is there. Uh, he's talking about his grandmother. And he's talking about food. He's talking about maybe food that his grandmother made. Or he's talking about a specific meal. Maybe you get, guys even had a meal recently that was some kind of thing that he liked. I think that you guys might have had something recently that was one of his things that he liked to eat. Um, 
Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kevin. I don't normally connect that strongly or that fast. Kevin mm. is actually very much better at this than I am. But oh, I never, when, when they get a hold of me like this, it's like, okay, I'm going to talk. It's to so <laughs> good. I'm just in that energy, Susan Lynn, of what you're bringing through and what you're in um, in that is like, I want more of that. And that connection between um, you and him is just so intimate and beautiful. And in that um connection it's like yes that's brother and sister but it's also a deep friendship and in that kinship it's like there's such a um i mean i know bits and pieces of your story through your mom and in it it's like this deep um reverence that he has for you um it's just so deep i can't put it into the words it's like give me more of the words and in it it's like he comes through with some of the things um of he was showing me a bag of marbles and it was interesting because it's like I know I have like 13 marbles in here and there's two missing and it's like I feel like he's laughing behind the scenes so in that kind of like just that playful energy around it um there was something about the marbles and at first he showed me this journal so I don't know if you have writings about him specifically but there's like it's the it's the intimacy of like a journal um, and it's connecting to him he also highlighted the month of may being important he's highlighted the month of may and january and i don't know if it's when it was grandpa i i felt like i got a bit of a hit on dad's side i'm not sure if that's um makes sense to you but um that grandfatherly energy and then there's a memorialization of him i don't know if that's a word but anyways if it's not um i do see the tattoo um, if it's not a tattoo, there's something that's like um, permanent, if you will, in that memory of him. So he walks this life with you. And I know you know that. And um, yeah, I pulled the memories card. And that's just so beautiful. They want you to be in the memory um, of who they are. And in that, I feel like you honor him in such a beautiful way. I just, yeah, it moves it's me. Hard. And so, I mean, yeah. Hard, my God, is. you know, it's my like, goodness. wow. Mm -hmm. you know, you, oh, on mama. one hand, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, it's still, you know, um, yeah. so my heart goes out to you, really. Yeah. And I'm not surprised you asked that, Debbie, because I was aware of him this morning. So that's so, He um, even yeah. said something to me mm -hmm. today. Uh, and I didn't know you, I didn't know anything about that. So clearly- he would have probably been that person that comes in before you do your show that you didn't have time to do today Yeah, because he was here. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. I love it. His energy is big. His energy yeah. is like big. Love to you, Debbie. And Much to your daughter. To so yeah. good. Thank you. Um, and someone gave us a donation. Stories by, my gosh, that is so generous of you. My goodness. That Thank is so, so kind. Much, dear. That's very oh, kind of you. Thank you. Oh, boy. All righty. I just want to be in that energy. You know, know just, right? oh, it's so much love. I know. He's so fun. And, you know, uh, I'll tell you guys something else that you probably don't know. Uh, we're all mediums here, right? Like, Debbie's a medium. I'm a medium. Kevin's a medium. And But when people read for us, like, even though I can talk to my dad all day long, when Kevin or somebody reads for my dad, it, it's different. I don't know mm -hmm. why, but it's different. It, he literally comes to life again for mm -hmm. me when somebody else does it. it. It just makes all the difference in the world. So if you're wondering why Debbie would even ask, that's why. Um, there's, there's a difference to it. Don't, wouldn't you yeah. say, Kevin? A hundred percent. Yeah. It's like, you know, the, the, it's like our, it's like, I'm just going to say for hair. You know, until someone really brings our attention to it, we don't have to think about it. It's like, oh, yeah. And in that, I don't know why they're making me use that, but it's like, it is different when someone brings them through. It's like, it is, it feels different. I don't know how to actually put it into words, but uh, oh, yeah, so different in such the best way. So, oh, so good. You know what the, the bag was? I have to go back because I, he keeps showing me the purple, um, that purple with the gold, um, I don't know if it's called crown something, but it was like that purple bag. Oh, crown Royal. Yes. Crown Royal. Yes. 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 I'm not with a drinker. No. <laughs> with me neither. That's probably why I'm well, like, I'm but it's from Kentucky. So this is required learning when you're yeah. from, we have a lot of whiskey distilleries. Okay. Anyway. Interesting. That's the, the marble bag. bag. There was a crown Royal bag. That's where the marbles were in. 
Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I know. Anyways, there you are. <laughs> so if something is missing. The marbles could be a, a, a metaphor for something. Yeah. And there, did I say 13? Uh, I did say 13. I think I did. Anyways. Okay. All right. Do you want to choose the next one? Okay. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> After that, that was amazing. I don't that know what could follow, um, <laughs> follow him. That, that's pretty hard, hard to follow. Okay, we're going to go to Rosemary Gutierrez, um, who says, any messages from her brother who passed in 2016? It'd be great to have your brother's name, but we'll, mm -hmm. because you might have other brothers, or I don't know, brother is just kind of a general. Um, I heard like the Stan or the Dan, the Ann, Stan, Dan, or Ann. <laughs> Stan, Dan, or Ann. Is the brother or is that something else? I don't, I just names that I just heard. I don't know. Oh. I'm, I'm just, I feel a bit loopy actually in I a know, good way. Too. Look, <laughs> did you think, um, he loved whiskey. Freebird Spirit said he loved whiskey. Oh my gosh. That's funny to bring us to the alcohol. That's so funny. The marble bag. I was like, what is that bag? And it's like, I could, I, I mean, you can't make that stuff up. You can't make it up. No. So good. Thanks for validating that. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks Debbie. Um, mm -hmm. okay. So, uh, bye mama bear. Thank you, dear. Uh, all the best to you. to you. Um, okay. Let's see. What are we doing? Okay. We're doing, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to make you spit out your tea. Oh, I'm like, Lord. should we go to commercial? Like what's I, I think we should go to a commercial break. Now. I, <laughs> oh, I don't Susan, know. Lynn, I love it's you. Okay. They're going to, oh, they're going to ride with us. They're going to ride this train to the bottom of the ocean. I they're don't know. Like, what's what is with these two? Oh my I, goodness. I don't know. We don't yeah. know. This happens a lot to Kevin and I did. It, it does. Uh, Oh, look, Wayne says <gasps> gamers commonly use crown Royal bags for dice. Okay. Oh, interesting. I mean, my family used it for everything. You know, put your quarters in to go to the laundromat or whatever. I mean, it was the go-to bag uh, for things. Oh, my um, goodness. So good. So that is interesting. Okay. So anyway, okay, let's focus. focus. Um, thanks. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for joining oh, us. Mary, I'm so sorry, dear. Uh, please accept our <clears throat> yes, apologies. We don't mean totally. to be disrespectful to your brother. You know what? I actually feel this actually plays into his energy. And so his ability to kind of lift things up and just be in the joyful, yeah. kind of funny, aloof, kind yeah. of just um, no worry energy. I feel that your brother's doing that um, for yeah. us, uh, Rosemary, yeah. if you understand. I'm not sure if you came back with the name. Um, that's Rosemary. okay i mean i'm saying that but i don't know why i'm saying that that spirit's saying it's okay susan's like it's not okay um <laughs> i'm just curious and, and ben, see, ben is still with us debbie is saying that is totally ben's energy oh my uh, gosh ben, there you go. ben is okay ben give us a break over here we're trying to work <laughs> <laughs> i know that you're not trying to work but we're trying to work or yeah. help us out get over here with the brother and, and get the brother so in on the phone. Yeah, I feel like I've been drinking the Crown Royal. I think that's <laughs> what it is. And I, you know, one sip and I'd be there. Anyways, um, Rosemary, are you still with us, hon? That's what we <laughs> she's, she's probably going, I'm here. Are yes. you? Are yeah. you guys still with us? Yes. That's probably what she's actually saying to the she screen right now. Laughed. She probably left. She's like, these people are, are ridiculous. They call themselves mediums. All they've done is laugh. Totally. Oh, hell. All right. We're going to get it together. I swear. We, we can totally pull are. it back from the edge. We've done this before. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Hi, Pats. Nice to see you. I don't oh, see her in the chat. Walker doesn't think she's here. Okay. okay. It could have been an old message. Yeah. Could have been an old message. Okay. I... <laughs> go ahead <laughs> i don't know i need debbie's son to come over here and get things back under control or something i don't know i don't know i need your help okay i need to call on all my spirit people to like whew. okay <laughs> we're gonna do it we're gonna do it all right let's move on if if you're here rosemary please accept my apologies and come back uh put it back in the chat and if the moderators would let me know or let us know about that that'd be super Okay, awesome. but anyway, let's move on. Okay, does that sound like a plan? I Kevin love it. Not? It's so good. <laughs> All right. Why don't you pick one? Okay. I, I like... didn't do so well. <laughs> um, 
Okay, this one is catching my eye. Donna Bell. Donna Bell. Um, I'm not sure what that pink wave is. Oh, I think it's the emoji. I've been That's in a emoji. horrible depression situational for a long time. Any messages to help me from mom, brother, or grandmother? Okay. Um, it's interesting that you're asking that because I was aware of a question, um, a lot of them with people that are um, in this experience of depression right now. So in that, um, I'm not surprised that you're... Um, here asking this question so hopefully you're still here donna bell you're here thank you for perfect waving her hand waving her hand speaking of waving it's like the um the feather so one of them i don't know because you're asking for three um in that just take this as the 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 feather being significant um is one of the signs that they would show you and i feel like it's something that you're already aware of is what they're saying um yeah, I don't feel like this is um, unfamiliar and I don't know who this is, but there's a, a likeness. One of them is drawing to this um, depression and in it, they're saying that it's um, you're separate from it. And although it's your experience that it's um, you are not the depression. And so this um, encouragement to be separate from it. And in that, it will it will help things as you're um, moving through it. I pulled the freedom card, and so that is coming for you. Um, it's not it's not a life sentence, per se. It's not something that you're going to have to deal with in the depths of it that you have. Um, things are going to start to lighten. So as you move through it, um, yeah, keep calling on them. They're hearing you. Um, it could make me cry because I feel like the conversations that you're having with them. Um, it's like this desperation in it. And so in that, they're just really, they're doing they're doing everything to assist you to move through it. And they want you to know that this is temporary, that this is temporary and it will, it will lessen. It will lessen for you. So keep going is the encouragement. Keep going. Yeah, keep going. Ah, oh, so That's good. That's a beautiful, beautiful message, Kevin. Um, I feel like your grandmother... I feel like your grandmother has some kind of kick butt energy, uh, mm. like just kind of like a spry or kind of, I don't know, but, but I'm going to switch and tell you from your spirit guides, your spirit mm. guides, when, when you're in a depression, it's like, it's all bleak. It's all black and white. Right. So, and, and the problem here is that we see all of the problem. And when you're, when you have all of the problems sort of hanging over you, it, there's no way out, right? There's just, mm. and then that causes more depression. So your spirit guides are saying they want you to try to do one little tiny thing a day. So perhaps get up early and watch the sunrise. That's it. That's all you got to do. And then the next day, maybe just notice, look for and notice some kind of bird or nature or some kind of thing in nature. And then the next day, do something nice for yourself. Maybe take a hot bath. So mm. each day, take one little, very easy, mm. small step. And those will add up. Just to what Kevin is saying, that's exactly mm. what happens. Those will add up and you're going to move through this. It is situational, but your situational is what you're in. So yeah. you, you can't get out of it, right? But if you will separate yourself from the situation by, by thinking about looking at nature or listening to music or doing something that takes you out of the situation, it'll really help you move through that. Um, it's a horrible, it's, it's, it's very hard to be in your shoes. And I want you to know that, that I know that Kevin agrees that our hearts and all of the people watching this, we're all sending you love, mm -hmm. we're all giving you hugs. And if you can feel that, you've got 351 people hugging you right now. Yeah. It's so beautiful. And as you were talking, Susan Lynn, they just want to add extra layers of the validation for you, Donna. They were they pointed out the live and it was at 4444. So that's another angelic number. So one of your your guides being angelic realm. And it's so beautiful. I caught, I went back, something said to go back into the chat. And you said something about it being on slow motion and it's been 30 years. Well, I pulled as Susan Lynn was talking about time, it's the 30 and just that TikTok and in it. 
you have to believe that this is just going to be, um, it's one moment at a time and you are going to move through it. They're just so clear on it that it's not something that you're going to have to be with for the rest of your life. So in that, just feel the love, like Susan Lynn said, from each and every one of us. I wrote a book about 444. Stop it. <laughs> no, look what happened. You guys made him cover his head up with this blanket. I just, that's how loved and supported we are. So just, I want you to be with every ounce of that that is there for you. And anyone else that needed to hear this that is struggling right now, um, we see you. Um, we send you so much love. You know, we all have this community that's here in the in the um, 3D, the earth world. And we have so much love from the spirit world. And with that, we can make it through anything. So don't you forget that. Wow, what readings tonight, my goodness. Wow. Yeah, so the good. energy is the energy <sighs> is out. So good. Thank you, Donna Bell, for being here. Thank you, dear. Take really mm -hmm. good care of yourself. All right. And everybody else, take good care of yourselves too. Okay. Um, was that your was did you do that? I can't even remember which day it is. I don't even know. <laughs> Oh, God bless you. You go right. ahead. Yeah, you we're go gonna, ahead. We're going to do it. Um, we're going to do it. Equus, Equus 3333, three, three, three. speaking of 4444, four, four, four. we have 3333, three, three, three. of course. Um, how are my fab, fabulous six grandchildren? I haven't been able to see them in a few years. Are they well, happy, healthy? Will mm. we ever connect? Yeah. interesting i see i yeah guys. i'm good it's so funny i'm like i'm gonna focus on the reconnect part of it because you yeah. missed out on a lot and yeah. that feels good that actually is where i am and i do get a yes in that too um yes. um what's the oh this uh, what's what month is turquoise i keep seeing turquoise tur turquoise is there an actual stone called turquoise like yeah. crystal yeah there's something supportive in that um and it's a burst sign too What's the turquoise? I don't, I don't know. know. Someone let us know. If you guys in the chat know what the birth sign, the birth month for turquoise is, um, let us know. They're hiding um, that and that. But you yeah. know what? Turquoise is healing. Okay. Turquoise is healing. It would be, yeah. Like the aqua. Yeah. Um, December. Aqua December. Thank you, Shy Violet. Okay, there's something about that. I got the I pulled two cards and this is from the higher self deck and I've got the perseverance and that it's like it's interesting that it's the the storm and so spirits aware that it's like it's been rocky and in that um, the perspective and I can see the the other people that are involved in that. Um, it feels like people had to go through their own things in order to get to a place where we could be in conversation and in the communication. And so for that, I do feel like the reconnect, um, although it's been um, slow to the making, um, will unfold. Yeah, I do. They're saying yes. So yeah, I agree that unfolding, it's almost like block, 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 and then it just melts. And then they're there. It's, it's, it just melts away. The block just melts away. Just be a little bit more patient. Mm. And the throat <clears> chakra, <throat> butterfly kisses healing says it also represents the throat oh, chakra. Oh, which is the communication. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. And to be able to be in that, um, mm -hmm, where it's not just, um, you're wrong, you know, I'm right. It's that. So the perspective that's come from it. So I could see that. Yeah. That throat being activated. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. All righty. Beautiful. 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 I'm going to choose the next one. I'm going to choose the next one. Um, we already did that one, Donna Bell. Um, we already did that one, Sherry. I'm going to. It's just validating that we were. I'm choosing yeah. um, this one. Okay. Mm. I don't know if we've done this one. Kathy. Oh, the kitty. Um, Kathy Reagans. Hello, Kevin and Susan. Do my spirit guides have a message for me? Blessings. I'm certain they do. <laughs> I'm certain that. <laughs> I'm certain they do. <laughs> totally. The catty yeah. little buggers. Yeah. Totally. 
That's interesting because I actually, that's so funny. I think that um, Kathy has a very chatty spirit guide because I actually thought you were talking about their, her spirit guide. Being no, I, chatty look, you being meant to us, but I, I heard it as for um, that. And I don't know I, why I call them buggers. I don't know that that was not me. I don't use that word. I don't use chatty. So that's from them yeah. or from oh, somebody. Chatty Kathy. Chatty Kathy. Chatty Kathy. <laughs> I don't think Kathy's chatty, but I think your guides are chatty. And Kathy's probably like, for the love of yeah. God, please stop talking to me at two in the morning. <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah. Send me an email. If you got to contact me at two in the morning, send me an email. What oh is my it? goodness. Look at this. So it's the cat, which it kind of looks the same as your cat ish. Like that's a bit of a stretch, Kevin, they're saying, but it's the cat energy, but you're, ex you're enchanting gifts. So what they're acknowledging is your ability to be in communication with your guides and your ability to um, be with your gifts. I feel like they're, I don't know why I'm saying this, you're leveling up. So it's like um, how things are um, unfolding for you within your gifts. Um, and they're saying to breathe. They're telling me to breathe because I haven't breathed a lot in this show, um, but also for you to be in your breath, which gives you the opportunity to go inward and to to really hear them because sometimes we have to get quiet and still to actually receive um, the messages when things are too, we're just at a different vibration. So we don't, it's not to say they're not there, that we're not connected. We just can't hear, we can't fine tune what they're saying. So um, yeah, that's what they're saying. Perfect. I, I couldn't agree more. Perfect go. message. Perfect yeah. message. So good. All right. Uh -oh, go ahead. Turn. I always yep. get caught. Spin like, oh. the wheel. <laughs> uh, like I'm over here just enjoying Kevin's reading and I'm not supposed to be working, but I'm not. I'm not working. Okay. You have worked it. You on that starring machine and it just helps. You know what I mean? As the host, it's like, it's a lot. So when someone assists, it's like, oh my goodness. Talk about being in the breath. I love it. Yes. Um, I'm just trying to decide. I'm going to go with this one. Buxton Windsor, which is really, hmm. really cool. I am in the UK and I'm on a long distance relationship. Will my relationship work and last? Is my partner faithful? Thank you very much for your help. That's very hmm. interesting. I did not read your question. I simply was drawn to click your, your question. Um, and it's always hard to answer questions like this, right? Because mm -hmm. nobody wants to know. I've been in your shoes honestly. Um, and you know, it's, it's a hard place to be in because they're not with you. They're away. And when, when you have that distance, you start thinking things, right? You start, um, you start thinking things, whether they're true or not. Hmm. I feel like I'm not sure about this relationship, Buxton. Yeah. I When psychics get quiet, especially people like Kevin and I that laugh through everything, proceed with caution. But I would say that your spirit guides are like, this isn't, if you, if something happens to this relationship and you decide to move on there, there's a new relationship coming in. That is everything you wanted and more. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes it helps us to feel better about that. But um, I, I don't, I don't have a lot of good feelings about this situation. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Um, it's interesting because they're my team is not allowing me to tune into his energy, and I respect that. Um, we don't have his permission. Um, and in it, they're focusing on you. And I pulled the patience card and I feel like you have been very patient around this. Um, what I'm drawn to is that the last part about being in the breath and just being really still and in your own knowing, um, they're saying that you know. And so they highlighted November um, back um, something there. I don't know how you'd connect that and you don't have to tell us in detail by any means. Um, but they're just, they're just, um, for me, what they're focusing on is your knowing. And in that, um, you get to decide is what they're saying. So, um, they're not making it like it's a wrong or that, you know, that you, 
um, they're just not showing me that. Um, but there is that proceed with caution when there are things that are, um, okay, yeah, when there's things that are, we're being made aware of, um, yeah, they're saying that I've said enough. It gets uncomfortable too when it's like, it's not always um, yes. And you know, it's not always because it's real life. And in it, like Susan Lynn was saying, she's been there herself. I will say I've been there myself. So in that there is, um, they always take us back to self. And in that, um, where we need to check in and we need that outside validation, I get it. And so um, really go with um, your knowing is what they're saying. Yeah. And know right. that you're going to be okay, regardless of what mm -hmm. happens, as long as your heart is getting fulfilled, uh, you're yeah. going to be okay. And if your heart isn't being fulfilled, then that's a problem in and of itself, right? Regardless of what this person is doing, if you're not really happy in the relationship, then that should be probably one of your main, to, you know, considerations. Yeah. Um, so it turns out that, that, um, Lisa Smith wants a message from her dad and she's been, I was just about to choose it. it. I'm sorry, Lisa. Um, I was just about to, choose you got it. it too. Okay. I, it's I totally so wonderful. It. I mean, here's the thing, you guys, we don't always read for other readers because we have access to each other, but it's like, I've never, I don't think on a live read for Debbie. And I don't think I've ever maybe one time actually I'm being reminded that I did for Lisa. So I don't know if you've read for either of them. So this is a treat. And I like it that you guys are making space for people um, because we're real people too. And we, like Susan Lynn was saying, it's different when we actually get read for. Um, so on the themes of fathers, it's so great. Um, yes. And I do know a little bit more. So, um, but yeah, let's. I don't know anything. I so love it. I love it. I know nothing. I knew nothing about Debbie and I don't know anything about your father, Lisa, but it's good to see you. Um, so your father is coming in. Um, first of all, he thinks it's funny, like surprising, haha, -ha, funny, but uncomfortable <laughs> that, that mediums or, you know, like this is being done on YouTube and it's live. And he's like, Okay, I think I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay with this. This is weird, but I'm okay with it. I think, um, you know, you know, he's like, I, I, he's almost like talking himself through it. Like, I think I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Um, so, um, I don't know about your family, dear. I don't know if you have sisters. I feel like he's making me feel like you do. Or there's another another person he might if you don't have a sister then it could be a cousin no it would be a cousin it would be more like a niece anyway i don't know what he's talking about with that um again i'm seeing food i'm seeing really good food like i would be like happy to be in your house and eating this food i don't know who's making it but he likes it he likes this food he misses the food he misses the family I feel like he has a sense of humor, but a, a dry sense of humor, perhaps. Maybe you got your sense of humor from him. I think his sense of humor was very dry because uh, he was saying, I, I, I miss being with the family. But he said some like <clears throat> kind of sarcastic thing about the family, like um, they're crazy, but I miss them or something like that. Like some kind of um, you're an only child. OK. Okay, super. Okay, great. Papa was all about the food. He could cook and was a foodie. Mm. Great. Did he have like a dry sense of humor? I feel like his sense of humor was so dry. It was like the Sahara Desert. Like I, I, that's the kind of people that trip me up because I'm very earnest. So I think you're being serious. I have, I miss it completely. Like I'm like, that was supposed to be funny. I, I took him seriously. Um, and I, yes, I feel like he could be a father figure to others, like he could mm -hmm. be this energy that was the big umbrella of, um, of, I think a lot of people looked up to him in the community. Yeah, go ahead, dear. Uh, his humor was cute. Mom's was dry, both were funny. Great, his humor was cute. She said your humor was cute. Oh boy. I feel That's... like your dad was not a small guy. I don't think he was like short, and then I think he was, he was kind of like a bigger guy in some fat in some way. Mm -hmm. 
It's so good. I don't know. Um, he's taking he's taking umbrage at the cute thing. He's he's gonna get you back later, I think. <laughs> so he's gonna hide good. the remote to the TV, he said. Oh, interesting. Papa was six three, big guy. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, go ahead, Kevin. I'll stop. Yeah, I love it because I I mean I know Lisa, we're friends and in it. Um, I just asked Spirit for um direction in this and information that I wouldn't already know. Um and what I feel about him, Lisa, is his ability to listen. And that's what he wants other people um, to hear today is that we don't listen anymore. And so giving people the space to listen, it just moves me. And so how you're doing that lights him up in ways that I know you know. Um, I pulled a few cards around it. He sees you as that magician. The magic that you're doing and the confidence that you have built by stepping into this space um, and I know you understand this about being home. It's the compassion and the heart home card. I know how you connect with that um, and how he sees your mom. Um, it's like that reunion. It's the schoolmate and being in that energy. Um, it just, oh, it's so moving. I love how spirit today is bringing through the energy of um, these men, but in such gentle, compassionate, um, beautiful ways that um, we need. We've lived in this time where it's like, um, it's been a, a predominant masculine and it's not always for the better. So in this shift that's happening, I feel like um, his place and his energy in helping that where it's like, you know, going back to listening women, you know, they listen, they listen to their kids. They listen in ways that sometimes not to generalize. Don't, don't come after me, people. I'm a man. So I can say this. Um, I don't always listen. So in that um, it's important for him. And he's saying, yeah, that's it. Those are, that's why he's saying it. It's the adversity that we've had and the change that's going to happen. And so I know with, um, all of my being that that's important to him, that the changes. And so in that, um, yeah, just feel his love and I love you. So Aww, that's mm -hmm. beautiful. And I mean, Kevin just took us to church y'all and it's oh Saturday my night. Goodness. Uh, no, no, I, that's, that's her Papa. I know that. He also said, it's funny that you were talking about the, um, the food because I heard that he had a sweet tooth. Um, and I saw him, it was like the cake and mama wasn't looking and in the icing, the <laughs> finger went and it was like that. And one other obscure thing that I don't know where this fits in, but getting your chimney sweeped or a chimney sweeping, something about that. Is that what you do? Like you get your chimney cleaned or whatever. If you have a wood burning, depends I don't on know. What you're, it depends on what you're talking <gasps> about. Oh my <laughs> God. I love doing that to him. I love it. Lisa, I however it. you I'm want to saying. take that, sweep your chimney. Never heard of it before, but you know. Um, oh Lord, y'all. Um, okay. I would also say, Lisa, are you going, are you looking for a new job? He's also talking about a job, mm -hmm. a potential job change <laughs> or uh, getting, you know, getting a higher, better job, more respect. He feels like you need deserve more respect. So good. Okay. I'll let her Thank answer. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, what a treat. And thank you. Speaking of treats, Rosemary, thank you so much for your um, donation. Oh. All righty. What a treat. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? I am totally open to a new job. Yeah. Okay. So good. I think your dad wants you. Well, I mean, you know, he wants the best for you and he wants, he feels like you're not really being respected. Something about either your talents are not being utilized. He just mm. feels like you have much more to give than, than you can give given the constraints straits of your job. He feels like um, there's something new coming in. Cool. Darn it. <laughs> When you go to click something and then the chat jumps. I know you guys know the same thing, right? When you're trying to write and then the chat jumps. Okay. All right. Much love to you, dear. Um, and thank you, Kevin. That was a beautiful reading. My God. Good stuff. Lorraine oh, thank A. Thank you for picking that. Of course. 
I love curly right, hair. We do this mind meld thing, right? Like Kevin and I do this mind meld thing. I don't know what it is, but it's like a thing. <laughs> Who knew? Yep. It Texas is good. Canada. Um, should I stay with my current employer or pursue other options? It's so interesting. The last part of what you came back to um, from Lisa's dad, and it was like the feeling, and I think this carries on to it, where he's like, uh, yes. he's concerned about not just Lisa, of course, he's concerned about Lisa, but also that's in his essence that he would be speaking to other people. For um, real. So in for real. that, you just got the answer. There's a new job that's actually better suited for you, um, that your talents, your abilities um, will be utilized and your appreciation for that um, will be matched. So I'm an easy, yeah, I'm easy. There you go. <laughs> Me too. I agree. <laughs> jump, girl, jump. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And believe in yourself. And that goes for all of you guys. And apparently, <clears throat> Papa, Lisa's Papa is now the Papa of everybody in the chat. Totally. Just saying. Yeah. So good. Thank you all for being here. What a lovely group of people. Yeah, My amazing. goodness. I'm thrilled to have read for readers. I mean, that's kind of like a lot of pressure. I had to follow Linda G and Mel, and now I've been reading for readers. I I'm know. like, what the hell is spirit? Sorry, Seriously. What the hell is spirit trying to do to me? <laughs> Man, I feel so like I'm in a good. job interview that never ends. Yeah. <laughs> all righty. Do you want to choose the next one? Sure. Why not? There goes the British accent. What happened? Okay. I don't know. Well, we did read for someone in the UK. Thanks for being here. It's late there. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 1 a.m. You stayed up for us. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's a, so that's a night good. owl. Yeah. Oh, that's so good, Scott. I love that, too. Oh, I'll, oh sorry. They were just, yeah, no, it was just they said, I love listening to all of these beautiful messages. Me, too. I know, it's so healing. Mm -hmm. It's so healing. Yeah. It really is. Okay. So here's a question from Candace Kelly. Um, does my brother, Chris, who passed in 2017, have a message for me? Chris. Was he an older brother? He has, if, if he's not an older brother, then his energy is that he thought he was an older <clears throat> brother or he has this kind of seriousness about him or, um, I don't know. So, sometimes brothers think they're older when they're not. They're, they come across to me as older when they're really not. But anyway, um, his message is uh, he loves you. Um, it's been a while. He wants to talk about your mom. He wants to talk about your mom. I think your mom took it quite hard or there's something about mom. Maybe mom is with him. Um, he wants to mention mom for some reason. Um, he does visit you. He, he does. Um, what did he say? He says that he, do you have a door that sticks or a lock that sticks? Um, <clears throat> he's not saying he did that, but he's not saying he didn't do it because I think it frustrates you. There's a door that sticks. He, it sticks naturally, but let's just say that sometimes he makes it stick more. Mm. So I would say when that thing is sticking that you go Chris and then it'll open. Just let go, <laughs> you know, and then it'll open. Um, go ahead, Kevin. You're dialed up and ready to go. Yeah, he's a great energy. Um, instantly, I heard fast car and I, I heard it um, through music. And so Tracy Chapman um, sings a version of that song. And in it, I don't know if that's just a way of getting us to car, the connection with that, or maybe it's the name. Um, but not but and um then i pulled the imagine card which made me think of the song um imagine and in that it just feels like um what does it make me feel oh i know what it was i got distracted his energy is really beautiful it calmed me down i was aware of my stomach um something around the stomach um i was aware of and then the month of october um, he was highlighting. I heard the D name. Um, and it's interesting. I actually heard my two brothers' names, Dave and Daryl, but the D name, um, male connection. Um, and then I feel like he shows you through the birds. Um, as Susan, Susan was talking, um, I could see the birds around you. Um, so one of the signs um, that he's showing you is the birds. Um, 
Yeah. So it's interesting that you kept getting songs. Mm -hmm. so, so he must have also been into music or listening to music because a lot of your mm -hmm. messages were through songs. Yeah. So good. Thank you, Candice. Candice, maybe I'm saying that wrong. Beautiful. All righty. I'm not sure if you were still here, but uh, all right. Did I choose? Oh, no, you choose. You chose that one. So I will. Of course, another dad. A message from my dad, Bob. He's so missed by me. My mom, too, Jean. Aw. Oh. Her mom, Cindy Jean, P. is on the other side, too, is what she means. Oh, okay. Her mom, Jean, and her dad, Bob, are both Oh, got side. it. Okay. Um, I mean, I just happen to know that. Um, Cindy P. Yeah, Cindy P. How are you, dear? Um, Bob. What in the world is he showing me? He's showing me Bob Newhart, which I wouldn't even know oh. that guy's name. Like, that's not something I think of very often. And I don't know why. What what is what is it about Bob Newhart? But it's also maybe the show, but also maybe I don't know why he's showing me that. I, I feel like he's showing me that he liked to do things. He liked to maybe I would say work on projects, but I don't know that I see that. It's something about he liked to do projects. Oh, your dad was a funny guy. Well, that's why. Okay. So, um, and I think that he made fun of himself. Like he, he would say, well, I'm going to fix this, but he knew that he couldn't, or I'm about to screw this up and your mom is going to kill me. You know, like kind of funny thing. Like, like he kind of made fun of himself in his role as a dad to mm. dad, dad supposedly do these things. Um, now, for him, I am feeling something in my gut, um, some energy there, and down into my prostate, maybe. I'm not sure, that whole area. Um, but he he doesn't want to talk about that. Uh, he wants to talk about uh, you. He wants to talk about you and your dog and your walks and nature. I think he really goes with you. He walks with you when you're on those nature walks. He is with you. Also, I don't know if you ever look at the starry sky at night, um, but he is standing next to you when you do that or if you've done that recently. He likes to look at um, at that stuff. Mm. Go ahead, Kevin. Um, it's beautiful. They come in together. Um, they do come in together. And in that, I'm I'm just more with mom's energy. And it right. was interesting because she sat at the piano and she started, oh, Suzanne, thank you so much. That is thank so you. kind of you. Thank you so much. Uh, um, the She started to play the piano, but it was almost like that music where it's like, dun, 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 like dramatic. And it was like, it, but it was with this comical kind of energy because as soon as, as soon as it, as Susan Lynn was connecting with your dad, it just felt like theatrical in a way that it was like, it just made me giggle, um, which I giggle a lot. I know people tell me, they're like, stop giggling. And I'm like, no, I will not. Oh my God, you should never stop giggling. <laughs> I love it. So being in the full um, self-expression, your mom's just saying that that's an example um, of what she would tell people when people were in their full expression, they were like more of that. So she's coaching me um, to be more in my giggle is what she's saying. And so they're so um, lit up when you are continuing to be curious in life. So being curious as you were as a child, bring it through, just keep being that curious child. Um, and in it, they, oh, mom made me aware of the month of January being celebratory. Um, and it was interesting. I asked for a message and she said that um, it was the gifts. And so it wasn't the things of material, um, but the gifts, the way that you made contribution um, and that you still make contribution. Um, so you would know what that means is something that they're just so proud of. And I pulled the balance card and I feel like this is 
um, you, mom and dad, um, in that where it's like the, the unity and the balance that you create um, energetically is really beautiful. So um, I'll leave you with that. Beautiful yeah. reading. Beautiful reading, Kevin. So good. Yeah, really is. I love the light. I love the laughter. <sighs> I love the healing. Yeah. A lot of light, laughter and healing tonight. Yeah, it's so good. We all needed it. We all needed it. Um, did Was there a note on Suzanne? I'm sorry. What does it say? Rosemary is in the chat regarding earlier questions. Stan, I think. Did we miss one or what was, or was she one that we, oh, she wasn't here. And then I said something about the name stand. Was that it? Oh, Someone you're way over know. my pay grade. You just, you just went straight <laughs> over my pay grade, honey. Uh, well, that, that spirit, uh, spirit's pointing it out. And usually I can't say that I'm always that like, but there's something people help me help us help us help, please help <laughs> us make sense of what just happened. Cause we don't know. I did see that and I didn't understand Okay, Rosemary in chat regarding earlier questions, Stan, I think. Okay, so you're drawing our attention to Rosemary. If Rosemary is still here. Yeah, if she can put in the question again, maybe. Please put that question in. Or if one of the amazing people in chat or the moderators, and thank you all the moderators, thank you so much. Um, if you guys, if you find it, if you could put it in there, because this 355 people in chat is kind of hard to keep track of. Um, plus Kevin and I are giggling oh, a lot. Totally. Dan mm -hmm. I don't know what Dana Stan means. Um, oh, she wasn't here when we connected to her brother. Did oh. we do the reading or did we not? Or did According we start? to. Rosemary oh, okay. One... Okay. Okay. She is here. So she had to step away and take a call. Okay, perfect. And now she's back. And we didn't read for her. We started, oh, I wrote, because I remember saying something about, they're saying I wrote Stan, Dan, and Anne. Oh, that was that one. Remember, I was like, Stan, Dan, and Anne. And you're, oh, my God, you did <laughs> say that. Yeah. That's right. Is there some Stan connection? Is that what I, they're saying? Yeah, that's what they're saying. So, Rosemary, um, you'll need to please. Yeah. You'll have um, to put it back just so you have to kind of like create a sentence out of all of this <laughs> completely, um, you know, incoherent yeah. information that we have put together. Is her, is her question still in the um, stars? I was just section? looking, Susan. Lynn. Oh, I don't of course you are because we have a mind here. Um, um, Kevin, are you the kind of guy that puts things up before you're done with them? Like when I'm cooking, I put stuff up and then I realize I'm not done with it. Oh yeah. Yeah. You yeah. do that too. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we cleaned out our star section is the reason I noticed that. I uh, did. We, I do because otherwise I keep going it. back to it. I go, yeah. cause spirit has pointed it out and then the energy is like to, so that's what happens. I know it's so, yeah. But it's other, similar. let's just admit it. It's in other parts of our lives and it's yeah. not OCD. Yeah. Okay. It's so true. Okay, I don't know if you're here. Okay, Rosemary, yeah. so we yes, we'd love to. And this one is catching my eye and we'll go back to Rosemary if she, um, maybe she got another call. I don't know. Or it um, takes a long time to type if you're not a typer. Right, that's the other part. But I saw another one whose dad is 100 today. Oh my gosh. I know. What? It's my dad, Fred's 100th birthday today. Heavenly birthday, Yes. Heavenly Mary. birthday or physical birthday? Probably birthday heavenly. But yeah, okay. I'm thinking Mary, heavenly. Mary, Mary. That's really cool that you kept track of his, of how old he would be. Oh, uh, it's so good. That's Today. nice. That's really, really cool. Happy birthday, Fred. Did he have another, yeah, heavenly birthday. Did he have another name? Why am I saying that? Did he change his name? And who's the A name? Who's the A name? Um, connection and Male, one female, of uh, a name I don't know and someone who's one of five who's one of five I keep seeing the one of five um, is she here yes oh, yes Mary here. is here Mary is here Mary my dad's name is Fred too oh my gosh Lisa so interesting for all the Freds out there <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay. So, um, I feel like he grew up. I mean, this makes sense. I think it's hard for anything to make sense when you're connected to spirit, but I think he grew up with a horse and buggy or a donkey, oh. or there was something before cars or he perhaps his parents had this situation or there's a picture that you may be aware of a picture of him on a burrow donkey horse kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm that that you're aware of and that would be the connection that he's making um and if you're not aware of it it's probably going to pop up in the next week or so because that's how these things work and um i feel like he had a sweet tooth or you have a sweet tooth I feel like you had certain things that were really in common with him. You know, like not, not everything. I don't think you were just like a mini me of him, but I think you had these odd things that you both like, like mm. me and my dad would eat olives for like snacks. You know what I mean? Like that's weird. Right. So mm. I, I feel like you and your dad shared something that was just yours that you and him liked, maybe some kind of food. Um, He's pointing out something that you guys ate that, that you both liked. What do you think, Kevin? Are you getting a... Yeah. It's loud in here. Uh-oh. <laughs> like, there's no, like, there's so much energy with spirit just really trying to, to be in, in communication. Oh, and so right. I'm... Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Um, okay, yeah. That makes okay. sense, okay. Mary. Um, Mary, 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 Mary. Um, oh yeah. The one of five, um, month of March was, was significant. Um, he's pointing out the month of March. It's interesting and obscure. And I, I feel I got, I felt my tooth start to ache. So something about the dentist. Um, I don't know if you need to go to the dentist, <laughs> um, but my tooth started to ache. So, um, He's not telling me anything else about that. What I heard him originally say, I know what it was. And I got lost in that energy was that no, there was no place like home. And Susan Lynn started to talk about um, where he grew up, um, if I heard it right. And in that, um, home was so important to him. And so in that, um, that space of the four walls and the roof, it was like, that was everything. So family being so important, um, his family, um, your family. And it feels like the, the message is about acknowledging like your preparation for things. And it's like, um, cause I'm back in the kitchen and Susan Lynn was like, oh, you know, you sometimes put things away before you need them. And it's like, you've got all the ingredients out and it's like things are now coming to fruition so i don't know what that speaks to um as far as the context of that um but he's acknowledging that so knowing that um they're not missing anything and happy birthday to him happy birthday from all of us happy mm. birthday to fred absolutely ah oh, such good messages all right shall we maybe do one more can we do one going. and a half? I want to just throw this out here. Brenda has been posting this in here a lot. And I think I can just tell you, Brenda, um, I, I get it. Yes. I feel your energy instead of like, this would be, um, resonance. Okay. Like you're in the groove. It's resonance. Yours is like this. Yours is mm. like, eh, you know, I get it. I feel that energy of like, I hate that energy too, of feeling out of sync. Everything is like not working or wrong or whatever. I just want, I just would quickly tell you, this is a time when you've got to let go. You may have to <gasps> let go of. I just pulled that card. Ah, yes. Yes. What is that? Divine, Divine timing. Divine timing. And let go. Oh my God. What would happen if we really had a brain meld? I mean, would we survive? I mean, I don't know. Anyway. It's tripping me out, tripping me out big time. Yeah, you have to let go. It's there's things mm -hmm. out of your control. Mm -hmm. You just I, let go. Just give it up to God. Do that most benevolent outcome that Linda G does. Most benevolent outcome for all mm -hmm. parties. You know, whatever it is for you. What do you think? 
What do you think? That's there, it. I feel like it's just echoed and that's it. So how we let go is personal, but in it, it's like, they brought me back, back to that clock and it's like watching every second tick. And in it, it's like, they just want to bring you um, just out of that focus of it. So it's like, sometimes we can get um, focused on the detail of something, especially in the upset or the challenge of it. And they're just encouraging you to kind of in that let go and stepping back. Um, yeah, you're supported. And again, it's like the temporary, they, they say this again, and they, they piggyback that is that it's temporary. And, and let's, let's quote Linda G in that, that this too shall pass. It will, this is a temporary moment. Um, so, so yeah, prayers to you. Prayers to you. Uh, so yeah. pick one more and we'll, we've been going on for an hour and a half. And we tell uh, you, our Froxy, Roxy, we do every about uh, three weeks ish. We do, we, we alternate channels. So the next yeah. one will be on my channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed to Kevin's channel, if you're here and you just happened to across us, please subscribe to his channel because he had Linda G and Mel on yesterday. He has amazing people on his channel Thank and you. he always has really great um, live readings. I mean, really, wonderful. you, you I give love that. a lot, Kevin. You yeah. give a lot. Thank you, Susan. Thank you for acknowledging that. That's kind of you. Um Yes. And if you haven't subscribed to Susan Lynn's channel, um, go do it because she has one of my favorites is um, Way Out Wednesdays, which I look forward to. And I set the notification and the alert and all of that. And <laughs> I actually have been the first one to like it and view it oh because I'm that committed. Um, Thank so if you, you, Kevin. I didn't know that. Thank you yeah. so much. That is it's so true. sweet. Yeah, I love her channel. I love your offerings. Um, I love the way that you approach uh, your readings, especially the the politics and in, in the way that you do and the guides that you um, work with is phenomenal. And so in that, check out her channel. And I saw someone donated. Cindy P, thank you so much. That is so cool. I was so trying to catch you. that. Thank you, Cindy. I saw it and then it went by. Thank you. Wonderful. Yes. And I agree. A goatee man. Remember the first time I was on your channel and I was like, a or wasn't that on yours? And I was yeah, like, I, I couldn't say a, a go team. <laughs> I spent four days trying to figure out his name. And then Susan was kind of like, um, this might be a one-time deal with this guy because he can't even say a go team. <laughs> Anyways, look at us now. Look at, look at, us, at us now. now. We're grown it's up. Amazing. <laughs> yes, exactly. Susan Lim with the tinfoil hat. You have never yeah. seen the the one that I could watch over and over again um, is with your dog. When your dog is oh, like, yeah, the dog is begging up. Mama, you have lost it. <laughs> yeah, you've lost it. Yeah. I think I really like traumatized them both, actually. <laughs> so yeah. good. All I right. Just, Susan Lim, do the honors. You choose the last one. I'm on the spot. I'm on the spot. I'm going to just spin the wheel. Um, Okay, this is what this is what jumped out at me. Nay Rod, which oh, is a really cool. interesting picture of a horse. And you know, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, home of the Kentucky Derby. Um, wanting to know my sister Luz, Luz is okay and happy. She passed 11 4 19. Uh, I'm sorry about your loss. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. We just don't really ever completely get over it, right? Mm -hmm. we, um, they kind of take a little piece of us with them sometimes. Um, and I have a sister in spirit, so I understand that. Um, okay. Uh, your sister, Lu how do you think you say that? Is it loose? I would say that. Yeah. Okay. Loose. Loose? okay. Yeah. Um, the first part of your question is a simple yes. So yes, she is okay. And yes, she is happy. Um, so know that um, is for certain. That goes without saying. I don't even need to tune in for that. But um, yeah. Um, what are you saying? Um, she, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like I'm getting a soft spoken, um, or kind of quiet, uh, person, but I think for, with you, with you, you, you guys could laugh and you guys mm -hmm. could have this kind of sister or, or wh whatever it was, the relationship was. 
I feel like you guys could kind of get the giggles on occasion or mm. she could be herself with family, but with other people, she was a little quieter because that's how she's presenting. I'm a stranger basically um, to her. So she's presenting to me as, as if we never met because we, we haven't until tonight. Um, but, um, but she sends her love. I, I feel like she's very gentle. I'm feeling like a little, a gentle energy. And I'm feeling like a love of nature or something about plants or nature and a love of um, maybe animals or kids or, you know, like I think sometimes she might have had run ins with people that weren't so nice or something. You know, some people are just not some people are just very earnest mm. and, and see the good in people. And then those people can sometimes have issues with people that take advantage of them, I'd say. Mm. I don't know. Just let me know what you think about that. And um, what do you think there, Kevin? What are you picking up on? Um, I feel into her I energy. May Rod is here still, actually. Oh, maybe not. Well, we've gone. Okay, we'll just go with it because we've gone. Um, I feel her gentleness. I feel her very calming. Um, I feel like she was very forgiving. And so sometimes um, in that, she makes me feel like people took advantage of it. And so um, in that gentleness, um, she wouldn't change that. So even though the way yeah. that um, people sometimes took that to um, advantage, um, she wouldn't change that. Um, that was one of her, um, that was one of the learnings that she had um, on the earth school. And she brought me back to first, she brought me to my birthday month, which is the month of May. Um, and this morning I was at the store and I saw some yellow, um, tulips and she's bringing me back to that. So something about the yellow, um, tulips or flowers. Um, and just in, it's like this, I heard her say self-reliance and in it, she just, um, it's like, don't be afraid to fly solo in that. So it's like, you're always going to be connected and in it, it's just this like, you know, and it's not like, it doesn't feel dramatic, but it just feels like just the reminder that it's like, um, it's okay to do this on, on your own. And so in that, I pulled one other card, actually I pulled two cards, um, but the higher view um, and that feels like um, just a, a validation of where she's at. And then she just comes through with that love for you. So, um, yeah, so good. And I did see, um, I didn't see her in the chat, but someone else said something about we missed something. She's um, not, that she's not here maybe. Oh, thank you, Paisley, a standing ovation. Thank you. Oh um, my goodness. I don't think the other one came back either. So, okay, um, okay. yeah, I didn't see it. So I um, didn't see it. Yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately, yeah, she must've got another call. That's it. Yes. Uh, what beautiful messages tonight. Susan Lynn. Oh my goodness. Standing ovation for Susan Lynn. Standing ovation for Kevin. How about standing ovation for all the spirits that yes. came through, all the so loved good. ones that came through with these beautiful mm. messages. And honestly, standing ovation for you guys, because we wouldn't be on this screen right now if it wasn't for you guys showing yeah. up and supporting us. So thank you. It's wonderful. I look forward to this all the time with you, Susan Lynn, and everybody who um, joined in and the moderators and all of you that gave donation is just so kind. Um, I give all of the um, donations to pancreatic cancer. Um, and so in that, it just feels really good to pass that on, um, to make a difference. And I hope that in that energy and in that flow, that everything comes back to you in that, and then some, so, um, nothing but gratitude for each and every one of you. Um, Susan Lynn, I adore you. Thank you so much. Um, and we will see you guys again. It's wonderful. All right. Have a great night, everybody. Good night. Take